Lightroom to Luminar workflow is our topic on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Well, hello everyone. So our topic is going to be on how to start inside Lightroom and then apply um, our Luminar um, using Luminar as a plugin from inside Lightroom. Now, before we begin, let's do just a little maintenance just in case you don't have it set up already. Typically, I just like to right click on the image, edit it in, and right here is my Luminar AI. Now, I set that up ahead of time by coming over here to the Edit tab, and then under Preference, you're able to choose which plugin you want to appear as your second editor. So obviously, Photoshop is set up here on top. On the bottom, I chose to use uh, Luminar AI. Now, you can pull it from the drop-down menu here. If it doesn't show in the drop-down menu, then just click Choose. And it's going to take you into, for, this is a Windows machine. Um, I'm going to go into my program files and then Skylum. And here we are with my Luminar AI. And then I'm going to use Luminar AI, uh, the EXE right here. And I'll choose that, which I already have. And it'll come back and it'll tell me the application is Luminar AI. Now, here's your choice. Remember, we're in Lightroom first. You have the option of sending it out to Lightroom, from Lightroom to Luminar, as a JPEG, a PSD, or a TIFF. The options you should choose is either between TIFF or JPEG. That's entirely up to you. Personally, I do like JPEG. And my color space, I like to stay with Adobe RGB, there's a whole debate on if Pro Photo RGB is better. Yes, it has more colors, but again, I'm just giving you my general, what I prefer to do. Uh, Adobe RGB, and then the 8-bit depth, you're, gonna, you're only gonna see 16-bit depth if you choose TIFF, which is gonna make your file even bigger, all right? So you have that set. Now the other option is this right down here, which is pretty cool. Right here it says the external editor. So once it goes out, it's saying that it's going to rename this image to whatever the original image name is. And I added the dash Luminar AI. Now, the reason why I did that is I want to know that that image was edited in AI. If you're using Topaz on one or something else, then you could put dash Topaz on one. Again, it's entirely up to you. But that's where the template here, the custom settings, is what I applied. And it's right here, edit. And I used the file name, which we saw, and I added, or I appended, dash Luminar AI, all right? So now that we have all that set, I know we got the boring stuff out of the way. Now, how do we get it into Luminar AI? Well, there's two choices, all right? I can just right click, edit it in and then apply it. Or if I don't want to use Lightroom's raw processor, if I want to use Luminar AI's raw processor, then I'll come over here to the file menu, export, and then once export pops up, here we are, export to, instead of a hard drive, I'm going to export this to Luminar AI. Now, once again, if you have other third-party plugins installed, then you can export it to those third-party plugins. What's the difference? You're using the you're using Lightroom just in this case here as a visual browser, and then you're using the raw processor in Luminar AI. So the choice is entirely up to you. So let's begin real quick, and let's say this is your workflow. You edit a real quick image inside uh, inside Lightroom. Let's do auto. All right. So I just real quick, just did a real quick auto. It looks decent. I like it. Now I want to apply, apply special effects. So the tools 
I don't have in Lightroom, but would take years to master in Photoshop, I can find Illuminar AI and make it work faster. So that's when I'm going to switch over to AI. When the tools are not in, in Lightroom, use the tools inside Luminar AI. So I'm going to click on it. Now it's going to edit with Lightroom adjustments. So I made those adjustments to show you that the changes I made in Lightroom will be applied to a flattened JPEG as it brings it over. All right? So edit. Now Lightroom is doing its thing. It's preparing the file. Notice on the bottom here, it added an image, the, uh, the TIFF file, to our Lightroom catalog. So it already created it. So if I decide to cancel out at this point and not just cancel out of Luminar, that file's already created. That's an Adobe thing. All right? So now here I am inside Luminar AI. It brought it over. Now, typically, to make life easier, Here's templates. I'm just going to breeze through these templates and just pick one. Let's see this here. Clear and sharp. Oh, that looks good. Fast fix. All right. I kind of like simple. Yep. Okay, let's go with simple. All right. Before and after so we can see what's happening. Here's the original with Lightroom changes. And here's what we came up with with uh, Luminar. Now I can still come in and do what I normally do on my desktop. I can come in, click on the Edit tab. Now I have all the tools available to me in Luminar AI. So let's just make some nice changes here. Okay, I like the sky. It works for this image, but let's change it. But before I do, I am going to come down here I want to bump up the shadows a bit. Good. Got that going. Details are fine. I'm going to come down and let's replace the sky just because it's a, it's a dramatic. It's definitely something you'll see um, immediately. So we'll click on sky. And again, this is something I can't do in Lightroom. I love these whispery clouds here. So let's click on this one. And once it does, um, there it is. Look at that. Beautiful. And I'm going to come back up on top. And actually, well, let me just come back up on top. And I'm going to dial this back a bit. There we go. Now it matches a little bit better. All right. Now I can spend a few more minutes making this look incredible. But I love how it looks right now. Once I hit apply, it's going to render everything I just did. It's going to render it into this new file, export it back into Lightroom. So let's give it a second. Hello, Russell. Good to see you. And by the way, at the end of this episode, you'll see I edited the chat, Ask Me Anything segment. So if you want to join us, the segment, just click on the Zoom link and you could join us um, into a Zoom meeting where we can see each other face to face and you can ask me any questions you want. All right. Well, here it is. Now, I'm going to hit G for grid view. If this image does not appear right next to the original image, that's because your sorting is probably set to capture time. Look at it. See how I switched it? Instead of file name. So if you want the image that you've exported out to Luminar to come back and be right next to the, the original image, make sure you set this to sort by file name and you'll see it right next to each other. All right? Well, guys, that's it. So that's how we're going to use Lightroom to go into Luminar AI two ways. One, just right click edit in to export. And if you export, keep in mind that the export is bringing it over as a raw file. So you'll use Lunar AI's raw processing tool. All right. Hey, if you like this episode, please, please give it a thumbs up. 
If uh, you have suggestions on how to make it better, leave those in the comments below, or even just give a shout out to us in the comments. And I'd love to see you guys join us for the Ask Me Anything segment at the end of this show. All right? Well, I'm Benelli. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next coffee break.